Now to the ongoing struggle for Americans to get toilet paper and uh, other paper products during the pandemic. There are actually serious studies looking into this, and CBS 2's Naomi Ruckham explains why it is still in short supply. Shelves usually filled with paper products remain empty, and many stores continue to limit how much you can purchase. When people see this kind of scarcity, it's like, I don't want to run out. Let me buy some extra just in case. Harvard professor Willie Shi says hoarding is a major reason toilet paper is scarce. Sales doubled in mid-March, according to the market research firm IRI. The problem is that this gets kind of out of control. And the manufacturers, and particularly the truckers and the logistics companies, you know, uh, have to keep up with this. But Americans are not only buying out of panic, they actually need more. People are no longer going to the restroom at school or work. While we're home 24 7, toilet paper maker Georgia Pacific estimates we're using 40% more. You can find calculators that tell you just how much TP you'll need. This one estimates a four-person household will go through 20 rolls in about 16 days. And with retailers running low, consumers are now turning to industrial suppliers. With the onset of the crisis, most of our customers now are our residential consumers. Rich Hebert is the CEO of CleanItSupply.com, which sells those giant rolls to businesses. While there are smaller sizes, much of it sold out, and what's left ships by the carton. Now, a carton has 96 rolls. As long as they're willing to buy it in bulk and have a place to store it, we can satisfy their needs. TP makers have increased production, but it could be several weeks before stores can add more stock. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York.